You started your Mac, 100% juiced up, you're working, and suddenly, low battery. If only I could eke out just 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. With macOS Monterey, Apple introduced low power mode. Yes, finally, low power mode on the Mac. And today, we're gonna put it to the test. First, let's take a look at how to enable low power mode. To enable low power mode, just go to system preferences and then select battery. On the left side, go to the battery tab and then you'll find the low power mode. You can check and uncheck. For this test, I have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on, airdrop off, and then I have enabled a focus mode, set my display brightness to about 50% and my sound setting to about 60% and the keyboard brightness is set to a 50% throughout the test. Now for the first test, we'll be creating an image classification model using the CreateML app. The dataset contains six classes and over 14,000 images. After the training is done, we'll be evaluating the model on 3,000 images using the test dataset that's provided to us. I've downloaded this dataset from Kaggle I'll leave the link down in the description if you're interested. So now we're almost ready to start training the model. And you can see that the battery is at 100%. The training has just begun. We started the training at 2.45 p.m. So let's keep track of the time. And I'll let you know as soon as this is finished. So we're about halfway through the training data set. What I'm going to do now is open up terminal and run a command to check the current CPU temperature. With the training almost complete, we are now at 74%, which means we've dropped by 26% from the start, and the average temperature is at 72 degrees. Not finished the training of the model completely and we're currently at the testing phase we've dropped down to 64% which is a drop of 36% and the CPU is running at an average temperature of 78 77 degrees so 50 minutes into the test we finally completed the evaluation both the training and the testing have been completed in about 50 minutes so creating an image classification model using the CreateML app took about 50 minutes, draining 40% of our battery. With the remaining battery, let's go to our second test, which would be playing a movie off of our disk. So 30 minutes into the video watching test, we're down from 57% to 39%, draining 18% of our battery. The average CPU temperature at this point is about 73 degrees. Before we begin our next test, I'll go ahead and let the laptop sleep for a couple of hours and then we'll be back. Okay, so after two hours of sleep, our laptop has drained by 2%, which is about a percent every hour. With a little over one third of the battery remaining, we're now going to shift our focus to some lightweight tasks. These tasks include streaming some music on an online platform and then scrolling through the web, reading some news articles, and then we'll open up a book on the Books app and read it for some time. With 25% of the battery remaining for the next 10% of our battery life, we're going to just go ahead and open up Keynote. This is going to simulate the daily activities that you'd be doing either on a spreadsheet or a Word doc. Since I have some work anyway on Keynote, I'm just going to use this as an excuse to get the work done as we're going through the test. After using Keynote for about 15 minutes, the average CPU temperature is now around 74 degrees. With about 15% of the battery remaining, I'll be opening up Google Chrome and playing some videos to see how long this would last. We're going to let the battery completely drain. I'm currently running a video from my other channel called Let's R, which is a channel that covers everything about data analytics 
and business analytics. So if you're interested, please check the channel out. Link down in the description below. 10 minutes into the Chrome test, we are now down to 2% and the battery dies down in about a minute or so. We'll now compare this against the regular mode to check 